Hey everybody and welcome to the Wolf Pit. Hey, tonight we're going to make some beef and bean burritos. Uh, I'm not really shooting for an authentic recipe. This is just going to be the way I'm going to make them tonight. So what, what we have here so far is we got two pounds of frozen 80-20 ground beef. So we're going to melt this down and brown it up. Alright, our ground beef is all browned up. And there's not really a lot of fat in this. I said it was 80-20, but there's sure not a lot of fat in there, so I'm not going to drain it. So now what I'm going to do is add in one large yellow onion chopped up and one medium bell pepper chopped up. And now I'm going to add in our seasonings. So I have about two teaspoons of black pepper, a tablespoon of granulated garlic, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of oregano, a teaspoon of cumin, and about three tablespoons of chili powder. All right, now we're going to add in about a cup of salsa and one can of undrained black beans. This is just my preference. I hear a lot of uh, you know people grilling me a little bit about not draining the beans, but I like the juice in the beans. All right, now we're going to add in about about a cup and a half of cooked rice. All right, we got our burrito filling all done. All the moisture is pretty much soaked up. All right, so we're gonna put about a half a cup of filling inside the burrito. And then we're gonna sprinkle that with some cheese. And now we're gonna roll it up. Squeeze it tight, fold it over. Roll it up. It's important you heat up your shells just a little bit before you roll them up, otherwise they're going to crack. All right, our beef and bean burritos are done, and you could you could um, top these with guacamole, salsa, uh, sour cream, jalapenos, what have you. Um, I'm just going to eat them plain tonight. So we're going to go ahead and bust into one of these and see how they turned out. Mmm. Very meaty, very cheesy. Mmm. Very good. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. And we'll see you next time.